uh, from the current uh, album The Unforgiven. I saw them live last year on the 11th of November. They were absolutely brilliant. Hence, they're my favourite band, The Lynn Temptation. And uh, this concludes the Pre Rock Show on TMO Radio for August 2012. And um, uh, it's called The Blast from the Past. This is actually quite a, quite a good blast in the past, I think, because uh, each each month we've uh, actually done, we've gone ten years back. So when we started the show originally, it was 2002, and each show we've done then, uh, since then, I've gone ten years further back. So today, uh, on this day in history, 25th of August 1972, it happened to be a Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, today it's Saturday. Ha ha. Uh, Walmart stores incorporated first began trading on the New York Stock Exchange uh, on its opening day. The price price cl- price closed at. My yeah, eyes are going funny. I think I might need glasses. Specs overs, I think. Uh, yeah, I haven't had my eyes tested since I was about 15. Um, the price closed at $33 per share, although the value of the stock dropped 77% in the first two years. Um, born on this day, Marvin Harrison, NFL receiver, Indianapolis Colts in Philadelphia, and Fa- Fa- Fazil Abdullah Mohammed, al Qaeda plotter in <laughs> Mor- Moroni, uh, Mor- Moroni, the Camarose. <laughs> you laugh at that. Um, and died on this day, George Sanders, 66, actor, suicide. Oh, short and sweet. Uh, <laughs> albums uh, born... Uh, albums born? No. Um, albums released on this day uh, include Everybody's in Showbiz by The Kinks, which was a double, uh, double LP, uh, one studio LP and one live LP. And uh, also... Uh, released on this day in 1972 Black Sabbath and their volume 4 album and uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, my personal favourite song from that it's uh, called Changes thank you very much Colonism and I'll see you next month thank you Peter